Hey there, fellow makers and engineers. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we have an exciting project lined up for you. We'll be modeling the Oldham coupling using Fusion 360, a powerful 3D CAD software. So let's dive right in. The Oldham coupling, also known as the Oldham's coupling, is a type of flexible coupling used in mechanical systems to transmit torque between two shafts while accommodating misalignment. It consists of three main components, two parallel shaft hubs and a center disc. The two shaft hubs are cylindrical in shape and have a set of axial slots or keyways machined into them. These slots are perpendicular to the shaft axis and are oriented at 90 degrees to each other. The center disc, which is located between the hubs, has corresponding tabs that fit into the slots of the hubs. These tabs are also oriented at 90 degrees to each other, allowing the disc to transfer, transfer torque between the shafts. Let's have a look at the components and an exploded view. For that, I switch here to the animation tab and Press the play button. Okay. So these are the three components. And now let's start modeling. We will need just one sketch and use the boundary fill command to create that disk. So let's start here in an empty file. I start with a sketch on the front plane with a center point rectangle. Give that an overall width of 88 and a height of six millimeters. I'll continue with a two-point rectangle. Catch that midpoint here. Go over here. Then make a coincident relationship between those two here. Give that an overall height of 18. And dimension one more rectangle here with um, 44 and then I will apply a diameter dimension I um, click on that line first on that other one make a right click go to diameter and dimension that with 18 millimeters right then let's extend this line, I go to extend, take that here, and one more, take it down there, and finish that sketch. Next, a uh, revolve of that region, that one, and that one here, with that axis. Operation, a new component. Okay. I'll make that sketch one visible again and go to the extrude. Take those two here. That'll be a symmetric um, cut. with a dimension of 16 millimeters. All right. Let's hide that sketch. Make a little chamfer of that edge and that one with four millimeters 
maybe we want to change the appearance of that. I get a fusion um, paint folder here. No. Paint, open that. Glossy, and take that yellow. Closing that. Next, let's mirror um, that component here over that face. Next, let's move that component and that will be in the Z axis, a distance of minus six. And then we will rotate that around that same axis with 90 degrees. Okay, let's change those names here. I'll call that one shaft one and that one here shaft two and I will apply a different color to that one here blue okay next let's make a ruled surface Here, take that edge, apply that in a direction, pick that face for the direction, pull that up here so it covers our um, recess. All right. Next, let's create that um, disk body with a boundary full command. Take the surface body here, open that, um, and take the, the body one component and the body one com component of that one. All right, select cells. So we select this part and create a new component. Okay, we can hide um, the surface body, and there it is. We get our disk. I'll call it like that. Next, let's um, create a joint origin at the origin. Accept that. Have a look where that is, right here. I'll pull things apart here. And create that first uh, revolute mate here, the joint, the joint. So hover over here, take that as the second one, make that a revolute mate. All right, there we get our, the joint origin. Accept that. Next, let's get that disc in there with a slider joint. So I'll press J, take that slider Let's say we take this edge here. The Z axis right on that edge. Go over here and place that there. All right. Let's do that one more time with a uh, shaft number two. Just check in here, we're still in the slider. So I take that edge, 
and that one here. All right. Next, we need to define one more joint origin, starting from the our origin, and then the next origin will be at that z um, distance, and then we will offset it from there. So the z axis um, distance are those uh, 62 up till here, the second 62 from that first shaft, and the six millimeters in between. So that's 130. I type that in here, one through zero. And for our offset from the Z axis, let's go in the, the X axis and take a distance of 32, all right? And now we will define the next revolute mate between um, that connector and that one. Accept that. And now let's go to our joints folder take that first revolute and animate that relationship. And there you have it. We've successfully modeled the old hem coupling using Fusion 360. With this model, you can now 3D print your own old hem coupling or use it for some simulations or analysis. The possibilities are endless. That wraps up today's video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more exciting projects and tutorials. Until next time, happy modeling.